dark matter is a form of matter that we are surely exist by now. It's uh, five times more abundant than the matter we are familiar with, the matter that uh, composes the visible universe, like the chairs in this room, uh, myself, uh, you, and the buildings, the planets, the stars, everything. And uh, all we know is that he interacts through gravitational interactions because the way we know he exists is by observing very carefully the motion of the visible objects and we see its effects. But we cannot look at that directly because it's invisible. And so this is, of course, a very open, uh, a very important open problem in particle physics because our desire is to understand what the building blocks of the universe are, not only to have a list of these building blocks, but also to understand what are the principles, uh, the principles according to which they interact among each other. And so this uh, dark matter is uh, five times more abundant, as I said. So it's most of the matter in the universe. It's like 85% of matter, as opposed to visible, uh, the visible one. And uh, there is a rich uh, research activity on this side trying to detect dark matter via interactions which are non-gravitational, but interaction with visible matter that could manifest themselves in the lab, in satellites, in uh, particle uh, accelerators, and so on. So the, the landscape of models for uh, particle dark matter is really, really uh, broad. Okay, there are many, many possible candidates because we, all we know about this dark matter is that it exists. We don't know its mass. We don't know its interactions. We just know it's there. So there are many candidates, as I said. And what people have been doing in the last, uh, I would say, 30 years was to focus on the motivated car candidates from particle physics, namely particles that are not postulated to exist ad hoc just to solve the dark matter problem, but also to address other big open questions in particle physics. The most famous one is uh, the so-called WIMP. WIMP is an acronym. It stands for Weakly Interacting Massive Particle. And these particles are uh, <coughs> very common in the theories of uh, particle physics that try to address another big problem, which is the origin of the weak interactions. And uh, WIMPs have been the subject uh, of an extensive research program, both on the theoretical side, but also on the experimental side, trying to detect them through different strategies. And uh, however, we have no WIMP detection so far, and we have no detection of any other dark matter candidates so far. So what the community, the reaction of the community in the last, I would say, five, 10 years was to be more open-minded, so we are witnessing a very interesting time now where people are trying to uh, uh, attack uh, other regions of this landscape of models. Another very famous one is uh, a, a hypothetical particle called uh, Axion. The Axion is a particle that also is motivated from another problem in particle physics, the strong CP problem. The strong CP problem uh, is uh, basically uh, our attempt to understand why strong interactions respect time invariance so accurately, as we see in the experiments. And a very elegant solution to this problem predicts the existence of this axion, which is also a very good dark matter candidate. It's much lighter than the WIMPs. It has very different properties. So the, the experimental strategy to search for axions is completely different from the WIMPs. These are just two examples, but as I said in the last few years, there are really many new ideas, many novel uh, detection strategies, and so we are really living a very interesting time.